Okay. Ooh, it tells me recording in progress. That's interesting. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Happy Monday. Um, we went into uh, magnetic sponsoring last week, and I wanted to um, expound a little bit of on, on magnetic sponsoring. What does it mean? Uh, where are we at with that? How do we magnetize people? And you know, how do we how do we become a magnet to get the business that we really, really want in life? And honestly, just being a magnetic person has always been something that I have always wanted to be. I think when I was younger, I was like, whoa, look at all those girls. They're so happy and bubbly. And I thought it was like, I thought it was like a concept only for certain type of people. And I think that's right where we start with the problem. So um, I'm not sure where everybody's at with their faith. And I usually don't do this sort of thing, but I, uh, I am a Christian and I do have a strong relationship with God. And I don't know where you're at with that, but um, I have been told to share something. So I am just going to share and I hope it lands well with you. And if you are not a believer or have different beliefs, I respect that. Um, but I just wanted to share a little bit and kind of explain why that goes into what the concepts that we're working on in magnetic sponsoring. So, um, you know, one thing I really have been working on is how do I become a better leader? I feel so honored to be here and be able to talk to everybody. And it's, uh, I'm a little nervous for this conversation. So bear with me. Um, so I ask God, so I'm, I have a strong faith, so I'm going to be very blunt. I ask God for a message for everybody. And this week we are further digging into magnetic sponsoring. And I want to talk about RCMing and the importance of being magnetic in messaging and communicating with people in the world. So before we can really work on people in the world, we must first work on us. Um, so one thing Mike Diller talks about in the book, Magnetic Sponsoring, which if you haven't gotten this book, this is magnetic sponsoring is one of the number one concepts in, mag, in network marketing. So I highly recommend that you get this book. This is extremely important. The concepts of being magnetic and magnetizing your business. It's really the, you know, Mike Dillard kind of talks about how it's really, it's really the only way. Um, and here's why, you know, he really talks about how People don't buy necessarily into just a product. People are buying into you, that you are your real business. People are buying into you as a human being. And when people buy into you, yes, we represent a company. We represent amazing products um, that are, I mean, we could go on and on all night on how awesome they are, how much benefits we have. But at the end of the day, People are going to either choose to pick you to help them in their journey in life, or they're not. You could have the best thing on the planet, but if you turn people off, then they're not going to pick you because you're not being a magnetic human. You're not being someone that people want to come to. So um, Mike Dillard really goes into talking about that the business itself is really you Sorry. provide... Sorry, let me just take off my watch. Siri has her own mind today. Um, and the dog. There's always chaos when we have to do something, right? That's life. So there's really an important step between you figuring out who you are and how are you going to navigate through your business. So you're over here and you can learn all the technical things that it takes, all the steps. What do we do every day? How do we do it? And you can execute those. But if you're not executing them with a little bit of finesse and a little bit of care and understanding and magnetism, and you don't really understand the concepts of magnetism, and you're not confident in who you are, and you don't walk out into the world confidently, you're not really going to attract people. You're going to be stuck in a realm of convincing and really turning people off. And when we do that, it's not productive to... It's not productive to our business goals. We have dreams that we aspire to get to. And unless we're doing it 
in a way that really benefits other people, others, then we're not like, we're not going to get there. You can beat your head against the wall doing all the steps. You can follow all the to do's. You can learn, you can grow, you can, but if you're not executing properly, you're going to get stuck. And a lot of times when people get stuck there, they quit because they don't really have the foundation and, and the root system to really hang on when the going gets tough. That's a lot of reasons why people's relationships really die um, because they don't have the foundation and the roots to really know how do I get through this? So I have to be bold and honest here. Um, God gets me through everything I, I walk through. And I, I just, I need to boldly say that because I'm here because I asked God for an answer in my life, something that works for me somewhere where I literally asked and prayed a crazy prayer, like for this impossible idea and concept. And here I am. I, um, I threw out this prayer and I said, you know, God, I really need the, the motivation every day. Uh, I need the energy to get through this deployment. I need to get through this deployment stronger. I want my husband to come home and me to be a stronger, a stronger mother, a stronger me, um, not just fit and skinny and meeting my, my workout goals. I want to grow as a human and I couldn't even keep up with my kids. We provide an amazing tool that could literally change people's lives. But if you don't sound like somebody who has tools, then people don't want anything to do with you. The reason I'm here is not necessarily because it was so magnetic, no offense to our amazing Miss Courtney. I absolutely love her, but I am actually here because God called me to her, which is actually even more important to me than somebody being so magnetic. Um, I, I was called here to, to do something important. And I, I am in the middle of figuring out exactly what that is. And it's not just bringing a product to people. It's providing a service and making a change in people's lives. That will be a magnitude. I've had several people who are literally in their many experiences right now who are like, thank God you came into my life. I literally was praying for an answer. And I was like, wow, you know, a few days ago, I was, uh, I was on Instagram and I, you know, I was scrolling, seeing some stuff, which don't get lost scrolling guys, but I'm scrolling and um, I noticed it, it said, you know, God provided, um, God provided you the business. I don't even know where this was at. I couldn't even find it because like my feed reloaded and it disappeared. So I don't know if it was like a figment of my imagination or like it's actually on an Instagram page, but it literally said, God provided you the business. He's also going to provide you the customers. And I was like, amen to that. So I would just want to dive into a few concepts. Um, I know there are some awesome men on our team. Um, I give you, you guys are, you guys are awesome, but I'm primarily for a few minutes going to be talking to a lot of the ladies here. Um, so I had a, oh, let me scroll to it. This is actually a verse that I was given. I'm sorry, my dog. Gizmo. Up. So I have a verse that actually was for a friend of mine. I will not name her, but um, this is a, it, it just, it was highlighted to me. And I just, I, I just know that I'm supposed to read this today. So um, first, I just want to tell you of how, oh my goodness, my dog. We're going to have to find <laughs> Oh my God. He's like a cat. I am so sorry, you guys. <laughs> the most embarrassing live uh, Zoom ever. Yeah. You need to calm down. We're going to give him a chill pill soon. Um, okay. So I just want to explain to people because I think there's a few people on here who don't really understand how amazing that they really are. I think there's some people that have been beating themselves up that have lived in this world that has taught us that we are not good enough ever. Um, he is a little person. Um, so he's ready for a strike. Okay, sorry, I get distracted by the chat. So I'm not reading those, sorry guys, um, ADD brain. So I think there's some people that really don't understand 
the magnitude of the impact that they are holding and the amount of power that they literally have that has yet to be unleashed. Let me just repeat that. Like you have a power and you have yet to unleash it. And you have yet, oh, do we have, see my guess. Oh. So you have a power and you have yet to unleash this power. And it's really this energetic, strong human being that like that you have been created to be. You are not supposed to be anybody else but you. And that's just something that I just want to keep saying to people because I just don't think so, like some people, especially some women on here who have a lot going on, I just don't think that they understand how deceptive the human brain and society has been in convincing them. It's, it's, it's debilitating. Um, who, who gives you the authority to walk out into the world and hand people a, a, a vitamin supplement? Is it Lavelle? Is it, um, is it your, your significant other? Is it God? I, I actually, it's you, you are the authority and you are the reason that you're here. You made a choice in your life to make an impact in the world and to be a part of something and a part of a movement. We are on a team of people who genuinely wholeheartedly want to make an impact in people's lives. And until you really grasp how big of a concept that is, that you are a part of the change that you want to see in the world, until you really grasp the importance of who you are, I don't think you're really giving yourself enough credit. Um, oh, I couldn't hear anybody. I don't know what's going on in the chats. There's too much going on over there for me, guys. I'm so sorry. I hope you guys are talking amongst yourselves. God has provided me with the confidence to stand where I am when I was completely broken. Um, he has rebuilt me from the inside out and he puts me uh, in a place where I can actually make a difference. I asked for that. The Bible, the word says, ask and you shall receive. So I asked for that and here I am. So to be sitting here and never to mention how I got here, I felt was, was quite selfish and silly um, because that's really the reason I'm here. And we are here to make an impact in the world. We're here to make an impact in the world. Even if you impact one person's world, you impacted one whole person's entire world. So when you walk out with people and you are in the world with people, you need to know that you are a strong, courageous, confident, beautiful human being that was created to, to love and inspire and help and and be the change in the world that you want to see. Be that love, that compassion, um, to be, you know, clothed with strength, and dignity. You, you know, we, we have to know our value and our worth. And we are worth, we, we are priceless. And, and that's just something that I don't think I could ever, in the world's definition, express to people. I really don't think anywhere else but the Bible could I express and really show you that, not me, but God, show you really where your value lies. If you don't know how important you are, you, you need to find out. So I just wanted to say that you're here for a reason. Congratulations on being an amazing, inspiring human that wants to make a change in the world. But when you go in the world, you need to go into the world unselfishly. You need to go out with a mission and a purpose. When you react, comment, and message people, you need to walk out with a purpose. What is my purpose today? Is my purpose to, to gain a lot of money? And that'd be nice. But if those are your goals, and that is how you're showing up in the world, as somebody who wants something from people, you are not going to get it. Actually, I have, a, I have a word for that too. Let me just find my, um, my post-it note. I almost decided not to talk about this and I felt a little uh, like, you know, this is what you're talking about. So here we are. Um, I will reward evil with evil. Uh, you will be able to pull your neck. Up. Will you be able to pull your neck out of a noose? You will no longer walk around proudly for it will be a terrible time. Um, God's talking about taking the 
um, people who prey on others for wealth in the Bible. And he talks about how when you prey on people and, and you just you you just lie and you take things, if that is your attitude and your goal, and you really have to dig deep and look when you when you are communicating with others. When you are in the world with people, what is your goal? If your goal is to make your next rank, well, that can be a goal. But if that's your only goal and your goal is not to help others, well, then you are in the wrong place. If your goal is just to make a ton of money, well, I just, those are not the kind of people I personally like. I, I want to make a ton of money. Let me just, let me preface that. I want to make a ton of money. But if your goal in life is to just make money and not to make an impact in people's lives, then you are not going to get there. Actually, God says he will confiscate your land and take it from under you. And, and that's really where I want to really want to talk about here is you cannot walk around proudly with jewels and just profit. Yeah, people over profit. You can't profit off of people and not put the people first. You have to put those people and what they need first. You have to message people. You know, Courtney was actually talking about this concept of like, you know, we can teach people all the technical skills on how to be a great promoter. We can teach all the skills, we can have all the resources. But if you if you don't have a little bit of art in there, a little bit of like care and finesse and how you communicate with people, you're going to tank it. You could do all the technical things every single day. And the only per person that'll order from you is like your mother or your aunt in the middle of nowhere who's just, you know, trusting you. I mean, seriously, if you don't have a space for creating abundance when you show up with people, like you have to first, you need to show up confidently and know who you are. Know who you are, know the power and the, and the tools that you possess are top of the line. And you are a part of an amazing team that will all back you and your success. You literally cannot fail with what you've been given. The only thing that makes between you and success is your mindset. And if your mindset is one of greed and just I want and give me, give me success, give me customers, give me my next rank, you will always, always lose because you're not being with people into the world. You're not being a player on the court. You're being a referee and nobody likes to be told what to do. You need to be a player on the court in life and you need to be with people in the world. So how you do that and what Mark, Mike Dillard really talks about is that alpha energy. Um, he talks about that you, you are competent, you are knowledgeable, you are a leader. Even if you have no promoters under you, even if you have no customers yet, you are a leader because you said you are a leader and you show up here and you decided one day that you are a leader. And because you are a leader, you stand for something. You need to figure out what do you stand for? Why do you stand for that? And what is you? You Inc. Mike Diller talks about in chapter, what chapter is this? He talks about, this dog is so mouthy. Chapter two, he talks, about, it's called You Inc how to create a real business with zero competition. Because even though there are a million other promoters, you are, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm just like, really? He's staring at me like he's arguing with me and dog. So you are your leader. You represent you. You are your business. Thrive Lavelle is not your business. You are your business. You are a brand. You are a human that has value. You are a, whatever value you have, you, you need to know, like, think about a topic you're passionate about. What do you know a lot about? What have you learned? What, what things have you gone through in life that have taught you a lot of lessons? Whatever that is, that is the value that you have in life. That is the value that you possess, that you bring to the table. That is you, Inc. You, Inc. is confident in whatever that is. And when you show up in the world as a confident, collected human who wants to, hold on one second. Seriously, stop it now. Like a big baby. Um, when you show up in the world, 
and you help other people and you want to be a stand for helping others, not just make a rank and make a sale, but that you genuinely care, that will change the aspect. Now, some people on this team are beautiful at that. Um, I have learned some of that from like being in work with me, uh, with, with Miss Tr Awesome Tracy over here. She is a kind, beautifully caring person who, and I just haven't had the opportunity to be with everybody else really looking at what you're working on. So I'm not saying that that's not you too, but I know that she has a heart of caring about others and being in their space and providing them what they need. And that is why Tracy is successful and she has magnetism. People trust people who care. They don't want somebody lying to them. If you say you care, but you don't communicate and caring, then they're, they're not, they don't want you. That would be like dating someone and them going, I want to like having the walk, like talking to talk, but like none of their actions meet up. So they got all the things to say, but their actions are totally not there. Oh, I want to provide for you, but they don't have a job and they're not looking for one and you do. Um, well, I want to help you, but they're too busy out at the bar or whatever. You have to be a, you have to have integrity to be your word. You have to know who you are, what you stand for, what is your business, who are you? And when you know who you ink is, what you stand for, and you can be whatever you want. If you have like, oh man, I wish I knew how to crochet. I wish I could be like on Instagram, then go learn. You could literally learn that and you could be that person and you could provide that. When you have services other than just a product to offer people and you have knowledge, that's where that fives, that having our fives list. And when we find people in groups and we find people on social media to communicate with, we have that relatability. Well, when you're talking to people in a space where, okay, well, let's say I, I am pretty pretty good at mindset because I've been working on this for a very long time and I had such a horrible mindset that it took me like business development, personal development, college development, God development, seminar development. I mean, I could go on and on. Counselors, like psychotherapy, I could go on and on with how much I've been developing my mindset and how I've gotten from where I was to where, where I had to get. So I am at the point where I know that I am, that this is one of my like spaces of genius and I'm not a genius, but like this is my area where this is one of my fives list because I know a lot about this. So when I look for people, I look for people who have that relatability. I'm an autism mom. I know the struggles and the mental health issues and the, 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 um, the juggling act and the lack of services. And I have learned a lot about that. So that's on my fives list. So that when I go look for people in the world, when I go on social media to find people, I have relatability and now I can confidently communicate with those people. When I have a mom who I know is crying at night and she tells me, oh my God, thank you so much for your info and just being a friend. I know how important that is because I've been there. And when you can be that for someone and provide that, not just selling them a product, but you can be their friend and you can provide them services, that not only fills their cup, that fills your cup. And then you feel more fulfilled, confident, and that is magnetism. When you can be in the world with people and provide a service as a human. So when I really just wanna strongly encourage that first off, if you're not RCMing, you need to. RCMing is react, comment, message. So for our new people, what we do, other than talking to people that we already know, is we go look, we figure out what our brand is, what do we stand for? That's called our fives list. If you're not sure what that means, ask your upline. We find groups with relatable people in our fives group. So I'm, a, I'm an autism mom. So I would go find autism mom groups, which I have. Then we would make connections with people. When you RCM them, you want to comment and message them on what you're relatable about. Not just about, hey, do you want to buy this product? You want to try this? That's, no. There's a thousand billion views on the internet that can give a product to somebody. 
they're not looking for a product. If they wanted a product, they Google it and they go find it. You need to be a solution to someone's problem. If you are not walking around knowing how valuable you are and how you can be a solution to people's problem, then you are missing the main point of like how you can magnetize people to you. So be bold, be confident, but connect with people on a personal level and gain relationship and friendships. And then work in work work your business into conversations with people. If you're not good at this, good news, you're going to get a ton of practice RCMing people. Your business, the the one of the biggest return on investment activities that you could possibly do is engaging with people on social media. How do we engage with people? We communicate with them. We do that through you know, commenting on their stories, looking at their pictures, asking them questions, talking, talking to them about, about things. This is a great way to up your people skills, up your personal skills. Um, you know, I really, I think it's, I think it's a beautiful thing. So I think that's really where I wanted to go was to be attractive to people because you provide something because you genuinely care. And if you don't care, and you just want to make money and sell, 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 sell. I'm going to encourage you to get in a one-on-one -on -one call with your upline or, or an up upline or somebody you feel relatable to, somebody you feel like you can connect to. If you don't know what value you have and you're just confused, we have some resources for you to help figure that out. And when you figure out how valuable you are as a human and what you're created for and the value you can provide that will speak magnitude in your personal life i i can't tell you how much just mentally for my own sanity how much being in a space of helping others has brought like an immense amount of blessings i don't care how much a paycheck came on tuesday like the amount of like just sheer being in the world with other humans, providing value, seeing the, how the value is encouraging and it's changing people's lives. I'm like, wow, what if I didn't take that leap of faith and I didn't pray and I wasn't vulnerable and I didn't ask for help and I, it, it's so important. So I hope that that helped a few people. I hope that that was, um, I hope that that was impactful. I hope that that landed well with you. Um, thank you. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, what I do is I get on and I, I uh, what was the scripture? Sure. So the first scripture was one that I shared with a friend of mine. It's Proverbs 31. Um, it starts at... Well, I didn't really read this one, but I strongly suggest you read Proverbs 31, 10. It's called A Wife of Noble Character. Um, this was highlighted to me to talk about today, but it's really 20, it's it's really going 19, like verse 19 on. But um it just kind of helps you know like who you are. Um, and also. I never can say this chapter correctly. Mika, Micah, I don't even know. One, no, I lied. Micah two, one. No, that's not where it starts. Micah. Micah, thank you. Micah two, three. Sorry, I can't even, I don't even know where I'm at, guys. I have post-it notes in the Bible. So uh, I know you guys didn't come to Mindset looking for a Bible lesson, but welcome to the way I roll. Um you know, that's my, that is my fives list, a uh, child of God, being a daughter of the, the man upstairs who created the universe. That's, uh, that's the whole reason I'm here. So to come in here and not even mention God is, is to me, it's, it's ridiculous. And uh, who better to have a, have a message than the father. So I ask for a message and he usually provides a pretty good one when I ask. So I love you all. I hope that you have a beautiful night and I hope this landed well for you. Um, please find out what you are, you know, what you want to provide to the world and communicate from a space of love and care and compassion with people. I love you all and I hope you have a beautiful night. Um, I don't know if 
I, I totally took over Mindset Monday. I don't know where Krista, she's on here somewhere, and Courtney, I don't know if they had anything to add, but I think I kind of kind of did a mindset takeover. You nailed it, you're good. Right. Um, and Courtney is relaxing, because her mother-in-law will beat her if she doesn't. I, I love that, that's important. So God had this message, so we didn't really need her. But we uh, we love her and glad she's relaxing. Um, you guys have a beautiful night. I will figure out how to stop recording. And uh, we will talk to you guys later. Love you guys.